I've got a leak somewhere in my system. I took this one, the main hose off, ran, I'm getting a ton of blow. So it's blowing out, you know, hard as it can blow and it's still not charging the system up. So what I'm gonna do is I've got this three inch cap here. I've got a, a full port ball valve. That's the valve right there. Then I got a few couplers. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use all of this. I'm gonna hook this together and I'm gonna use that air compressor to charge this system up. My three inch cap is actually gonna go right here because this is a three inch tube. So my three inch cap is going on there and I'm gonna pressurize this whole system and see where my leak is coming from. What I'm gonna use is my drill, the three inch cap, you know, my ball valve, my coupler kit, you know, I got some Teflon tape and this real old tap and die set I got. So like I said, you can get these. I've had this thing for years and I, I use it all the time because I'm always like re-threading stuff and you know, screws that get stripped out, you can re-thread them. You know, you get, sometimes you get holes that get stripped out, you can re-thread them. Always have a tap and die set in your tools, no matter what. Saves you a lot of time from going to and from stores. So just fix your bolts, fix your screws, fix whatever holes you're doing. Get this kit. That's what a tap set'll do. It'll thread any hole, depending on what size, you know, I needed that size. So that's what it does, it threads the hole. So now I can screw my air nozzle down in there, secure it, hook my air nozzle up to that. There's my part right there. This is my new pressure tester that I'm gonna stick on the end, add some air to it and see where this leak's coming from. I think it came out pretty cool, I like that. And that's me putting together this ball valve and a couple of these couplers here. So that's three pieces put together. It's gonna to connect this. So I'm gonna put this on the piece I just made that's sitting over there. I'm gonna put this on the end of that, this on the end of there, and my air hose goes in here and I gauge how much air I want with that. And so that's basically how you set this thing up. I'll show you how it works. So I had to put that piece on the end of my air hose because I'm gonna go stick it on that nozzle over there. So that plugs into that piece that I made and my um, little valve, I attached it directly to my compressor. So I had to take that off the end of my hose because that's what airs my air guns and everything up and just put that piece on there. So that's how I had to set mine up. I don't know how to have to set yours up, but get it set up to where you can actually attach it from here to there. That's it, these two will go together. So that's basically how I have mine set up. I got my three inch cap on my three inch hose running this line all the way back here to my valve right here. I'm gonna pull my air compressor out so I can do it all out there and control it. But that's basically how it's set up. And that's my system that's gonna test the pressure right there. So just for starters, I just ran a quick bead, but I can hear it already coming out here. See, listen. Then that piece came off, I put too much pressure in. But this is where it's coming out, right here, right in this area. So I gotta rework this over here just to make sure I'm trapping pressure. So I'm doing a boost leak test and this is where the leak is coming from. The supercharger itself. Man, I think the seal's blue in this thing. That's a lot. I mean, that's like all the boost coming out right there. Well, I don't know, man. I'll figure it out. Okay, so what I did was sealed all around the supercharger. When I took the shell off the head unit, it was just metal to metal. There was no gasket in there. So I don't see how they created that without putting some sort of a gasket in there. So I kind of built me a gasket, filled it with gasket and everything else like that. Put it all back together. I'm gonna wait a few hours, let everything seal up, let the gasket become airtight. Then I'm gonna run boost again, see how it works out. Hopefully it does, if it don't, back to the drawing boards, but I think it'll work. Metal to metal just don't seem airtight to me.